hello guys yeah welcome back to essential kitchen merry christmas to you guys so how are you doing today so today i'm going to teach you three secrets of preserving your fresh tomato first method is um through fermentation process stay tuned i want to welcome the old and new subscribers if this is your first time coming across my channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share Okay guys yeah welcome back the first method is fermentation process where you can preserve your tomato seed to last for you up to one month all you need is just three things glass water and salt get a clean glass container add water add salt this clove is just for flavor you can put any flavor of your choice anything you want to use as a flavor you can put ginger you can even put pepper i, I i'm using a garlic clove and um curry leaf as a flavor turn it then add it up your fresh tomatoes that is that that is all for this process then top a little water to cover the tomato then lock it this process can last up to one month now we are heading for the second process this process is um you know preserving your fresh grated tomato in the fridge it can last as long as the fridge is chilling all you need to do is to cut your tomatoes and grate it you can add anything to it you can add pepper to it you can add any you can add ginger you can add turmeric anything you want to add to it you add grate it i can want to welcome my new and old subscribers thank you for watching if this is your first time coming across my video please don't hesitate to subscribe like and share and also leave a comment in the comment section tell me the country you are watching from so i can send you a hug thank you for watching after slicing add them to blender and blend to a smooth paste top some water just to help the blending process okay after blending you're going to pour it in a pot and cook that way it will help to bring everything together and it will make it it will make your paste thicker After blending it, bring it to a boil. When the tin has started boiling, add your salt. Then stir it and cover it to boil again. At this point get your clean glass cups or bottle ready
okay this is the tomatoes now you're going to use a sieve and sieve out the excess water sieve out the excess water this water is not your waste so you can use this water to prepare jollof rice you can use the excess water to prepare jollof rice so this is the main tomato the main paste now start pouring it in your cup pour and cover then put it in your fridge it will last as long as your fridge is chilling that is the second process for you then we are heading to the third process this is the third process how to make your tomato paste last longer like up to one year naturally without a fridge so what i did is that after canning it i want to put it in a pot add water and cook cook everything together both the can and everything this way it will help to seal uh, the cup very well so you can preserve this one naturally without fridge and this can last up to six months so this is how to make your tomato paste try it out and let me know in the comment section try it out and let me know what you think about it thank you for watching